Okay, in this video we're going to look at another preparatory lemma for the proof of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So in this case we're going to prove that if P divides a product A1 through AN, then P must divide one of the terms in the product. So in other words, P divides AI for some I between 1 and N. Good. So uh, let's start with our base case. Um, oh, I should mention we're going to do this by induction. And so our base case, <clears throat> well, our base case, you would usually set n equals to 1. And for sure that's true that if p divides a1, then p divides a1. But that's not super interesting. And I want to make sure to review a previous lemma that I've proven. Uh, and that is n equals 2. So we can use n equals 2 as a base case. So uh, now notice by previous um, lemma, we know that if p divides a1, a2, then p divides a1 or um, p divides a2. So we know that's true. So the base case is true. Good. So now let's make our induction hypothesis. So our induction hypothesis will be for some arbitrary k. So let's suppose that if p divides the product a1 to ak, then p divides ai for some i between 1 and k. Good. And now, uh, now we'll go with our induction step. And so our induction step will start by supposing that P divides A1 to AK and then with the addition of AK plus 1, um, which can be written as follows. So that means P divides the product A1 to AK times AK plus 1. Good. And then applying the previous lemma, we know that that means P divides all of this A1 through AK or AK plus 1. Good. In other words, the N equals 2 case, which was proven carefully with a previous lemma. Um, so, by previous, we know P divides A1 to AK, or P divides AK plus 1. Good. And then applying the induction hypothesis, so by the induction hypothesis, we know P divides AI for some I between uh, 1, or K, 1 and K, or P divides AK plus 1. So now putting this together, we have P divides AI for some I between 1 and K plus 1, finishing the induction step and finishing the proof of this lemma. Okay, so between this and the previous lemma, we have everything in place to prove the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So we'll do that in the next video.